Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Trainer Weaves, and we have another special video today. This is a new round of special research that has been put out for the release of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee on the Switch. So Professor Willow has popped up with a quest chain called Let's Go Meltan, which has nine stages. Nine stages! I hadn't looked at this before. Because when it first released, it was broken. So this weekend we actually have a bunch of special quests in stops and they've been broken as well so we've had to guess what they are. But looks like Niantic have now fixed all the quests so let's see what Professor Willow has to say. Weaves, it's always great to see you. I'm sure you know this, but your help in progressing my research has been essential to major breakthroughs in my work. It's because I'm doing all the research, Professor. That's why I've come to talk to you again. You probably already know what I'll be asking. Is it to catch a load of Pokemon? I need your assistance in learning more about the newly discovered Pokemon that has really sent me and other Pokemon researchers into quite a tizzy. A tizzy. Can you believe an undiscovered Pokemon just appeared out of the blue? You can imagine how everyone is talking about it. I was checking a nearby habitat when I ran into a nest of them. I was so excited, I dropped my camera. Don't worry though, I'm sure the repairs won't cost me too much at the shop. Although each Pokemon turned out to be a ditto using the move Transform, that didn't put a damper on my day. So many ditto taking on this unique Pokemon form must mean that the real Pokemon is truly out there just waiting to be found. Let's get to work, Weefs. I know we don't have much to go on, but I'm confident your hard work can only bring us good fortune. But first, let me recalibrate my instruments for your area. Could you please complete the following tasks? Spin five Pokestops or gyms, catch ten Pokemon, or transfer and, sorry, transfer five Pokemon. Already done two of those. Just gotta do the five transfers. Ooh, free incubator. So to coincide with the new Switch game, they have a Kanto event going on this weekend, and that means lots of Pikachu spawns. We also have Shiny Magnemite somewhere, though I haven't got it myself, but I did get Shiny Drowsy. There he is! Looking like an Easter egg! But I'm also hunting for Shiny Caterpie, and one of the quests that out at the moment is Evolve 2 Pidgey. And there's hardly any Pidgeys now, even though it's a Kanto event. But it does mean, I got it a couple of times this evening, so it does mean I have quite a few Pidgeotto kicking around. Goodbye! Let's claim all them and move on to part two! Thanks, Weeps. I think that will be enough to help me properly conduct calculations based on the data you'll gather in the field. While you were out, I scanned some academic journals to see if any of my fellow researchers have encountered a Pokemon matching the description of the species I saw. But I didn't have much luck. But I do have a hunch. Given that this Pokemon has been unseen until just recently, I think it's safe to say that we're tracking another mythical Pokemon. Like Mew and Celebi. If I'm right, and this elusive Pokemon is a mythical Pokemon, we should be able to draw it out by creating specific conditions under which it thrives. But let's step back for a minute, before we take a step forward. Or many steps forward in this case. Great fieldwork starts with a walk. Could you complete a few tasks for me? Starts with a walk. I'm sorry, Professor. I seem to recall last time I did a bunch of special research fieldwork for you, you hid in your nice, brightly lit tent and sent me wandering off into the forest in the dark to find scary Pokemon. Also, remind me to contact my mentor, Professor Oak. I'm certain his brilliant mind will have something to lend to all this. Please complete the following tasks. Earn two candies walking with your buddy. Make ten great throws, thankfully not in a row. And hatch three eggs. Helpfully, I'd already seen the first one of these, because Nick got it earlier. 
So I've already switched my buddy over to Magikarp, which is a buddy that only needs one kilometer to get candy, so that won't take long. Ten great throws, easy. Hatch three eggs. Gonna take some time, but I got a load of 2k sitting here, and I have a new incubator. So we'll get that on. I'm looking at these, I've got, what, 1.4 kilometers for that one? Basically, I'll see you in two kilometers. Okay, three egg hatches later, and I have managed to do part two. So let's claim all this now and see what comes next. Claim, claim. Give me my lucky eggs. Weaves, I gave Professor Oak a call and he pulled through. He says that the Pokemon is called Meltan. I think the name has a nice ring to it, don't you? Professor Oak got this information through an ancient text found in his archives, which included the appearance of Meltan. So this joins up nicely with the YouTube videos that they released a few weeks back, in which we discovered that Professor Willow is very sassy. <laughs> the lab isn't prepared to receive Meltan! Oops, my mistake. Sorry, Professor. What luck! Did you know that when Professor Oak was my instructor, he was my role model? And he still is! He and I are of the same opinion that Meltan is a mythical Pokemon, so I really think we're onto something. Still, a name alone isn't going to get us very far. Perhaps the Ditto knows something we don't. I think that if we find Ditto, we'll be able to figure out how they acquire this curious transformation, and maybe that will lead us to Meltan. Observation will be the best way forward. So let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Please complete the following tasks. Catch a ditto, win two gym battles, and battle in two raids. Handy for us. I can see a dirty blue gym back there, and we have a couple of raids popping, so we should get this done pretty quickly. I did do a sneaky look ahead, and I already knew I needed to catch a ditto, so I actually have one here in my field research stack. I mean, no, it's a Pidgey. Come on, little Pidgey. Oh, fine, you can have a raspberry, maybe a fancy ball, not that fancy, just a great ball. Hooray! <gasps> oh! Ditto was caught! Also, since in my last research tasks video, I didn't actually finish a spooky message, even though I got spirit team, so let's polish that off now. Claim those rewards as well, with my lucky egg on. Get my spirit team candy. And let's see if Professor Willow has anything else to say. No. Okay then, I guess he didn't miss out on much. Alright, let's go fight some blues. Okay, ditto court, raids done, gym battles done. Let's see what else the professor has in store. Great balls, incense, max revives. Excellent work, Weaves. The ditto you've helped me analyze indeed has transformed into Meltan before. In fact, it was able to use transform and let me analyze Meltan up close. This ditto is very helpful, even though it couldn't replicate some of the finer details. It seems the memory of Meltan is fading away. But I have good news. I was able to tell that Meltan has a liquid metal body with a nut-like head, and a tail that looks like a power cord. Judging from the appearance, it may be an electric or steel type Pokemon. In order to make more progress, I think we should study these types of Pokemon, 
Can you complete the following tasks? Catch five steel type Pokemon, catch five electric type Pokemon, and earn five candies walking with your buddy. All right, so steel types. Right now, in the two weeks after this quest line has been launched, we have loads of Magnemite out, and it has a shiny form, so I'm catching those anyway. Electric types, Pikachu is everywhere, so those should be fairly easy to do now. And five candies, it's time to go back to walking Magikarp! Or I might actually evolve my shiny, finally, I've been looking for a good excuse. And we'll walk a Gyarados instead, because it looks a little bit more badass than a little fluffy fish. <laughs> but, I need a hundred more meters on this little shuckle here. So it's time to go on some adventure sink. <laughs> 